Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's topic is all about how to develop the mindset of a self-published author. Last week, I did a video on how to develop the mindset of a writer. If you missed that video, it's right here. Make sure you go check it out because this is all about getting your mindset right to accomplish the thing that you want most. It's not just about pressing a button and self-publishing and it's not just about a writing a book. There's a lot that comes after you have that initial book idea as I mentioned in the last video and that's what we're going to talk about today. What does it really take to have a mindset to actually self-publish a book and have a long-lasting career as a self-published author? So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the very first thing that you need to know when you hop onto the self-publishing train is that you have to have an attitude that is willing to learn and willing to just do what is necessary to get to the next level. It's not just about writing the book. When you decide to self-publish and you are basically the publishing company and you are basically doing everything, you need to know not just to how to write, but you might need to learn how to format your novel. You might even need to design your cover, which I don't recommend it. You have to go through a bunch of rounds of self-editing and proofreading before you get it to the actual editor. You have to learn how to do a lot of marketing, how to actually sell yourself. There's so much that comes when you decide to self-publish and the best way that you can pretty much get to that next level of not just self-publishing one book but keep self-publishing is to develop that mindset of I am willing to do what it takes. I am willing to learn and do whatever it is to I need to do to get there. I didn't know how to do anything when I first started writing like literally I didn't know anything about self-publishing so when I first started writing my initial um, quest was doing you know trying to get an agent and trying to go that route so I didn't even know how to format my manuscript I didn't know what font to use I didn't know what size my font needed to I mean I didn't know anything but I had a willingness to learn and that is the very first thing you need to know when you embark on this journey is that you have to have the the drive the will to learn. The next thing you need to know if you embark on this self-publishing journey is that you need to be okay with things not going right. I have had many launches not going right and you just have to be okay with that. Things aren't perfect, nothing is perfect. Things go wrong in traditional publishing all the time. So why would you think that everything's gonna go perfectly for you? For example, when you self-publish with Amazon, if you're strictly using Amazon, you cannot dictate your actual publishing date. You can get as close as you possibly get. For example, my next book, I have it that I want to publish it on 3-22-22. However, if I press publish on, let's say, 322 it might take them 72 hours to show that book live so that means that my actual book might be four days from there or however long it takes them to you know to actually get it up so i have to publish probably two or three days before the actual date that i want it to be live so what this means is that on my amazon page my kindle will show that the publishing date was 322 but if i want my book to be live on 322 i have to press publish on the paperback and the, the hardcover a few days before which means the publication date is not going to show on 322 which is fine the only problem is you have to time it kind of kind of perfectly you don't know when how quickly they're going to review it or how long they're going to take and you just hope that it goes live on the day that you're promoting it so that's one just one of the things that could go wrong but it's okay you're self-publishing and things will not always go right and that is perfectly okay the next step on developing a mindset to self-publish is that you have to be willing to spend money like i said when you self-publish you are basically the publisher, you are the company, you are the one that has to get all the things done. So not only do you have to 
edit the book so you have to pay for the editor you have to pay for the cover design you might have to pay should probably pay for advertising to get your book out there you might have to pay to get into book conferences you you're gonna have to spend money and sure you can self-publish without spending a dime you could just write the book edit it yourself create the cover and upload it to kdp for free and never spend a dime advertising just do it on your social media and maybe you spread the word to friends and family but that is not ideal you have to you have to pay a professional editor to pay to edit your book that is like my top recommendation if you are self-publishing you should never ever 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 publish a book without it having professionally edited so that if you take nothing away from this video make sure you take that away but that is something that you must think about when you decide i want to self-publish you have to be willing to spend money the next thing you must consider is that you will have to make some difficult decisions for example you are going to have to decide on which editor you're going to hire you're going to have to decide on which cover designer you want to hire you are going to decide when your product is finally done as writers you know we can be picky and we can be hard on ourselves and we can potentially be writing a novel for a very long time but it's in our best interest to have that publisher's hat on that says this is as good as it gets and if i keep messing with it i'm probably going to mess the entire book up i'm as you probably know if you are already a writer the more you mess with a finished product the more difficult it gets to get to that finished product again so you have to have that publisher's mindset that says the cover is good it's edited perfectly and this is a finished product and we're going to publish it so that is that tip that you have to be willing to make difficult decisions it's not all sunshine and butterflies you have to make difficult choices at times you also might have to make a decision on do i want to get my own isbn numbers do i want to get um, a corporation do i need to get insurance it's just a lot that you have to decide and you can't be in that state of mind where you're always on the I don't know state of mind you have to be able to make decisions next as a self-published author you should be willing to move on to the next book no matter how your last book did yes it's easy to move on to self-publish you know your next book if your previous book was a success and you had a beautiful launch and everything went perfectly but what about when things don't go right when you when you have a launch that nobody showed up for when you don't sell any books when or even worse when you do sell books but you get a bad review you have to be willing to move on to the next book maybe all your books are great maybe all your books are not but if you love writing and you want to embark on this writing career and self-publishing career you have to be willing to say that is done and i can move forward and you should move forward and do what you love to do which is writing and publishing next when you embark on a self-publishing author to develop a really healthy mindset you have to be able to create a plan even if you're not a planner even if you're one of those people that always wings it when you decide to self-publish and become the publisher of your books you should have a plan you should cre create a plan for when you want to write for when you want to finish the book for when you want to hire the editor the cover designer there's just a lot that comes from self-publishing and it's not just simple you shouldn't just keep it in your head and assume that everything's going to fall into place the easier that the more you plan the easier things will get for you things can get really complicated and there's a lot of things moving at once when you embark on this self-publishing journey that if you don't have a plan that's when things go wrong that's when you have a higher chance of things going wrong for example the example i just gave you a little bit ago about the amazon that is out of your control that is nothing that that is not your fault that is not for your lack of planning that is in their hands so you planning eliminates any mistakes that can come from your end you have a higher chance of success you have a higher chance of your launch going well of your book succeeding if you have an actual plan of when you want to do certain things or when you need to do certain things for example my next book enough stop the negative chatter and know your worth the ebook is available for pre-order right now 
they have given me a deadline of when I need to upload the final product. Well, I've already uploaded the final product, but it's like three or four days, I think, before the actual release that I have to have the actual final product uploaded on their website. Well, that is something that I need to plan for. If I just have it in my head and I don't have a plan, I could miss my deadline and that is not good because that means that your readers will either get a bad copy of your book or maybe not get anything at all. I don't really know what happens if you don't have anything uploaded. Um, and people do pre-order it, I think that would be really bad because I've never I've never gotten to that point, but that would not be good. I know for sure that if you have a bad copy uploaded, they will get that bad copy. So that is just an example of why you have to create a plan and just make sure that you have everything scheduled out perfectly so that you can see it. I have videos on this topic. I've decided to do two releases at once and I share all my tips and I share my process with everything that I went through. So if you want to check out that video, I will link it below for you guys to check out. Next, something that comes from creating a mindset of a self-published author is that you should be willing to sell yourself, which is really, really, really difficult. But as a self-published author, you are all you have. And until you get to the point where you can hire someone to do the selling for you, which I still think that you perhaps still have to do some selling yourself, you have to be willing and able to sell yourself. It, for me, that's probably the biggest thing, the biggest roadblock, because it's really hard for me to sell myself. And even though I believe in my books and I love them, I can never find the right words or the right motivation to encourage others to check it out. But I'll do it right here, right now, with a better chance. My book, Enough, Stop the Negative Chatter and Know Your Worth, is available right now for pre-order and ebook. So if that's something that you guys often do is read ebooks make sure you go and check it out if not the release date like I said is March 22nd 2022 so if you want the paperback or the hardcover you can order it on that day next as a self-published author what you must be willing to do is have others read your work and judge it that is the whole point of being a writer and as a writer, you can hold on to your manuscript and have no one read it and it can be your own little precious thing and you can keep it in silence and no one has to critique it and no one has to read it or judge you for the rest of your life. But if you decide that you want to take your career to the next level, if you decide that you want to be a self-published author, then you have to be okay with others criticizing you. No matter how wonderful you are or how great your book is, there's going to be people out there who don't like it. There's going to be people, people out there that not only judge your book, but judge you as a person, which I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense, but that's just the reality of it. You have to be okay with others criticizing your work and sometimes even criticizing you as the person. All right, you guys, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you are embarking on the self-publishing journey, I wish you so much luck. I've been doing it now for a few years and I love it. I have no problems with self-publishing. The only difficult part for me is the marketing and that might not be so for you. You, The hardest part for you might be finding an editor, finding a cover designer or formatting or whatever it is but know that we all have our struggles and we're doing it anyway so i probably that's the biggest takeaway that i want you to have from this video is that it is going to be hard it's there's going to be moments where you're frustrated where you probably even shed a few tears but do it anyway if ultimately what you want is to hold your book in your hand then just have the courage be a risk taker, bet on yourself, write that book and publish that book and sell yourself. All right, you guys, again, just as a reminder, if you are into personal development and you just want to get yourself to a different level this year, make sure you buy my book enough. Remember, it's available for pre-order right now or you can get it in paperback and, um, what is it? <laughs> Hardcover on 3-22-22. I will see you guys again in a brand new video next time. Until then, stay safe.